Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I will be talking about my experience regarding FC Plus Part 1 and MS which I appeared in the year 2018 and I will be answering some of the questions I've been repeatedly asked over the past 11 months and I hope they help you out. So let's talk about FCPS. It is a fellowship whereas MS is actually a post-graduation degree. Now, FCPS is offered by BCPS, that is the Bangladesh College of Physicians and Surgeons, whereas MS is offered by BSMMU, that is Bangabundhu Sheikh Majid Medical University. FCPS um, comprises of a four or five years of training plus exam, and MS is always a five year exam thingy. Now, why I said FCPS is a four or five year exam, that is because if you do your FCPS in the parent subject, it's only four years. If you do your FCPS in a branch, that's another year of training, so sucks. I know. And MS is regardless whichever branch or parent subject you appear in, it has to be five years and with lots of exams. Now, moving on, let's elaborate that point. No exams in FCPS whatsoever. During the training, you're on your own, do your thing. Whether you learn or not, nobody's gonna give it, you know, you know. And in MS, there are lots and lots of EBAs, that is end block assessments. Every three months, if you fail one, you can't get your clearance for your phase A, you can't appear in phase A, and if you can't appear in phase A, you lose one chance out of the six chances you get for phase A. And once you fail that, you are out of the course and are a simple MBBS again. Now for FCPS, there used to be no such rules previously, but recently they've introduced this rule of the fact that you have to pass your FCPS part 2 within 7 tries or something. I have never bothered to find out about it, so it exists, but it's not as severe as in MS. Now FCPS, you can appear FCPS ju just after you get your BMDC registration. And um, for MS, you have to wait one year after internship. One year on 20th February of the next year. FCPS does not pay anything unless you're a BCS candidate. And this one, MS or MD, it pays you 20 grand per month. So that's a good thing if you have not no plans of giving BCS ever like me. Now FCPS. FCPS has um, a continuous learning curve that is very very good. You get to stay under one mentor for six long months or a year or two depending on your choice and therefore you get to have a continuous flow of learning and there are no interruptions but for MS you're like basically running around like a vagabond from department to department with for only three months or six months or 15 days depending on the block you're in so nobody actually gets to know you as a two, you know student and the chances of you being trusted to do surgeries are very slim compared to FCPS this is what I experienced myself when I was a FCPS part 2 trainee. I was under a teacher for one whole year, so they learned to trust me, trust my skills, trust me to do surgeries on my own, which is something some residents didn't get because they were under these teachers for so such short amount of time. So that's a you know a negative thing about MS. Now, another good thing about FCPS is getting to choose who your mentor is going to be or what institute you want to graduate from or train from. You can choose to do six months under this professor, you can do six months or a year under another professor, go to another institute, do whatever you want in whichever city or institute you want. But for MS, you're stuck in one place. And you cannot migrate, you cannot go anyplace else 
if it sucks, well, it sucks. You're stuck there. Uh, you only get to go to BSMMU for some parts of your course. I'm not sure about every subject, but for mine, you have to do some of your blocks in BSMMU. So that's that. Um, now let's get into some details of how to get into these courses. I mean, I'm get telling you all the pros and cons about the in both degrees after you have achieved them. But let's talk about how to get into these things. So FCPS has three exams, whereas MS has only one exam. And the FCPS exams are taken on three different days, so having to give exam on three continuous or successive days can be very stressful, and most students tend to have a nervous breakdown um, on the third day, which has the hardest type of questions, so that's a bad thing, which makes FCPS part one pretty difficult. Another thing about FCPS um, making it difficult is that the questions are analytical. There are no... Um, simple, easy, straightforward answer to FCPS questions. You have to think before you answer each question. They might seem too easy, but there they might be, you know, something else entirely if you pay attention. So the questions are analytical, whereas in MS, they're basically, questions are pretty basic. You have to memorize things off a book, and you either you remember or you don't, and that's pretty much how MS works. Another um, problem with FCPS that makes it hard is that there are less repeats of questions in each year and that makes it hard to, you know, um, predict which uh, question you're going to get the next year. For example, in some years we get a lot of questions from pharmacology or virology and the next year we get no questions from pharmacology or virology and a lot of questions from mycology. It's unpredictable. I know there is a syllabus that you can download from BCPS website um, about the Merck distribution, but they don't always follow this, so it's very unpredictable each year. There are no repeats and no, um, you know, predictability in FCPS Part 1. But for MS, uh, you get lots and lots of questions from the previous um, years. So that kind of makes it predictable. And if you, you know, solve the past questions, you could have a very good chance of getting in MS. Which brings me to my next point. The past questions of FCPS are not available. They're never made available to the public. And for MS, you get, you know, you go to Aziz supermarket and you get a book uh, with um, past eight to 10 years of questions in a bank or a book of some sort and you solve those things and voila, you have a very good chance of actually passing MS. But for FCPS, it's mostly like a hearsay. I mean, people could tell you what questions there were, but there is no proof because nobody's actually ever leaked the questions before, so you can have no idea what the past year's questions were. This kind of makes it more hard to, you know, do well in the exam. So in FCPS, you have 70 marks worth MCQ and 30 marks of single best answers in each paper. But for MS, it's just 200 questions of MCQ. Now, these MCQs in FCPS have um, five true or false, not four, sorry. Four stems each of true and false pattern, and here there are five stems of the true false pattern. Now, the thing about MS is you can kind of predict about the ratio of these true false thingies. It's either two is to three or three is to two. So if you can figure out which three questions are true, you can, you know, sort of blindly check the other two questions as false and you would, you have a very good chance of getting it correct. But the ratio in FCPS is not like that. So it's kind of, again, harder to score a high mark in FCPS. Now, the very important difference between FCPS and MS is that there is no competition in FCPS. You are just competing against yourself here. You have to get 70% in each paper, otherwise you don't pass. 
and out of the 70% that is the 210 marks out of 300 marks in FCPS you have to get 70 in each or you can get 70 uh, in two and you can get 65 to 69 in the third paper and the total will be in 210 you might just pass FCPS part one but in case of MS it is highly competitive you are competing against every single person in the country who is giving competing for your seat in that department and subject of your choice so you can't just expect to do good or get 70% you have to be one of the best I mean if there are nine seats available you have to make sure you are the out of the nine best people or highest scorers in that subject in that Institute so it's very competitive but in FCPS you just have to get 70% in three papers and it's pretty hard to get do consistently well in three papers on three consecutive days it's a very you know stressful exam and a lot of people you know can't do well in such exams whereas the 200 mark MCQ is of three hours so you have to rush in the MS exams you cannot spend more than one minute in each answer and you have to you often don't get time to revise or even finish any questions I myself have um, gotten 45 minutes of revision time but I just got lucky I guess it doesn't happen to everybody and I've heard a lot of people say that they've had trouble answering all the questions that is answering all 200 questions during their time but for FCPS you get three days worth um, one hour 40 minutes time in each paper and that's much more than enough for the 100 questions that you answer every day but the trick is that because you have a lot of time the the answers are very analytical and twisted so if you don't think straight you will get them wrong you have to read every question twice read all the answers twice and then answer you have to make sure you utilize that extra free time because the questions are going to be tricky. Now let's talk about the content. So paper one is probably just anatomy for um, general surgery, FCPS part one. Paper two comprises pharmacology, physiology, biochemistry, and I forgot what else. And paper three probably has pathology and microbiology could be wrong about this I'm not sure I can't believe I've forgotten already it's only been 11 months but um, apologies so usually there is a gap between these two exams and the exams get consistently harder with each passing day so the hardest questions come from this pathology which comprises the systemic and general pathology and moving on to MS MS is pretty much about 120 to 140 marks are basic that is all these subjects is rolled into this one basic thing and the rest of the questions come from whichever subject you have chosen like surgery and you know if you're choosing surgery you get all the surgery and allied subjects in this um, 60 or 70 marks um, one final um, difference between the two which I would like to add on top is the exam fee to appear in FCPS part one you have to pay a very hefty amount of 11 friggin thousand and for MS it's just six thousand so that kind of makes it more achievable but you know to each his own money might not be an issue for you but having to consistently pay 11,000 for each FCPS part one attempts can be exhausting in the third paper and the total being 210 you might just pass FCPS part one but in case of MS it is highly competitive you are competing against every single person in the country who is giving competing for your seat in that department and subject of your choice so you can't just expect to do good or get 70% you have to be one of the best I mean if there are nine seats available you have to make sure you are the out of the nine best people or highest scorers in that subject in that Institute so it's very competitive but in FCPS you just have to get 70% in three papers and it's pretty hard to get 
do consistently well in three papers on three consecutive days it's a very you know stressful exam and a lot of people you know can't do well in such exams whereas the 200 mark mcq is of three hours so you have to rush in the ms exams you cannot spend more than one minute in each answer and you have to you often don't get time to revise or even finish any questions i myself have um, gotten 45 minutes of revision time but i just got lucky i guess it doesn't happen to everybody and i've heard a lot of people say that they've had trouble answering all the questions that is answering all 200 questions during their time but for fcps you get three days worth um one hour 40 minutes time in each paper and that's much more than enough for the 100 questions that you answer every day but the trick is that because you have a lot of time the the answers are very analytical and twisted so if you don't think straight you will get them wrong you have to read every question twice read all the answers twice and then answer you have to make sure you utilize that extra free time because the questions are going to be tricky now let's talk about the content so paper one is probably just in that a correction i would like to make is that there are actually five true false choices in fcps just like ms and i guess that's about it so ta -ta. I what else and paper three probably has pathology and microbiology i could be wrong about this i'm not sure i can't believe i've forgotten already it's only been 11 months but um apologies so usually there is a gap between these two exams and the exams get consistently harder with each passing day so the hardest questions come from this pathology which comprises the systemic and general pathology and moving on to ms ms is pretty much about 120 to 140 marks are basic that is all these subjects is rolled into this one basic thing and the rest of the questions come from whichever subject you have chosen like surgery and you know if you're choosing surgery you get all the surgery and allied subjects in this um, 60 or 70 marks Um, one final um, difference between the two, which I would like to add on top, is the exam fee. To appear in FCPS Part 1, you have to pay a very hefty amount of 11 friggin' thousand. And for MS, it's actually 5,000. But, you know, to each his own, money might not be an issue for you. But having to consistently pay 11,000 for each SCPS part one attempts can be exhausting. Oh, and a very important reminder, if you get less than 25%, sorry, if you get less than 25% in each paper, you will be barred from appearing in the next examination. So if you have a really, really messed up preparation, please don't sit for FCPS because you won't be allowed to sit the next time. Now let's talk about switching over. Now, for example, you give your exam in FCP part one in general surgery, but you actually want to do your career in, say, neurosurgery. So what you can do is a peer exam in general surgery, and once you pass, you can apply for switching over. This is called switch over application. You have to pay another 11,000, sorry, 1,000 once you pass. You sign some forms and stuff, you apply to BCPS office and they ask you why you want to switch, just write some random stuff and after a while they're gonna like send you an email telling you whether your switching over was successful or not. Now why they ask you repeatedly to think before you switch is the reason I previously described. You can't switch back to another department or specialty after you've switched over and um, well it's harder to do your FCPS in a branch so why bother and yeah so this was the summary of MS and FCPS part one I hope this helps you all and if I have forgotten to include anything I apologize and um, I'm gonna make another video soon about 
the books to read and I hope they help you all so thank you so much